Hello everyone, in this video we will learn some basics about stacks. Stack is a data structure which follows LIFO, that is last in first out method, which means that the data or the element which is stored last in the stack, that is the element at the top, will be accessed first. Taking a real world example, we encounter situations such as we have stacks of dishes and if a person wishes to take a plate or a dish, he will probably lift the one at the top because pulling one out of the middle or the bottom might break all the dishes. Thus, if a person comes and takes one from the top, then we are left with three dishes in our stack. And again, if another person comes, he will take the one at the top and we will be left with two dishes in our stack. And similarly, if you want to add two more dishes, we will add them one by one at the top. Therefore, in a stack data structure, elements are removed as well as inserted at the top. Now let's look at some operations that we need to perform when working with stacks. The push operation is adding element to the stack and removing an element from the stack is referred as pop operation and to access the element at the top we have a top operation and finally to check if the stack is empty or not we have the empty operation. Now let's look at some real life application of stacks. Let's try to implement the functionality of a back button that we all have in our browser using a stack. So let's create a stack which is initially empty and suppose as the starting point I'm at the home page of codewoop.com therefore I will push the link to that page in our stack and now suppose if I click the category link list so now again I will insert the link to this page in our stack and now if I click the basics tutorial then again I will push the link to this page in our stack Therefore, the top of our stack always denotes the current page. And now if I press the back button, we will pop the topmost element from the stack that is basics. And our top will now be at the link list page. Therefore, we have moved from the basics page to the link list page by pressing the back button. And now again, if we press the back button, we will pop the link list page from the stack. And the top of the stack will be the home page of codewoop.com. Now some more applications of stack data structure include the undo operation that we have in our text editors, expression evaluation that is evaluating arithmetic expressions, expression conversion that is conversion between infix, postfix and prefix which I will cover in a later tutorial and stacks are also used in recursion and function calls that we have in our program. So that was all for this video. Thank you for watching.